What up, what up, long time no see y'all. Chris, good to see you. I'm at the Honeymoon Spirit Lounge right now. Just finished up a, uh, another investigation. This thing is fucking bright. There we go, it's a little, oh no. Disease. Okay, so I got the spirit chat going. Uh, so this place is a historic home that is turned into a bar slash restaurant. The episode will be coming out here soon, but the... Actually. Actually. Actually what? But yeah, so the investigation has been great. Um, just finished my second night here. This place is awesome. And the vibes here, definitely pretty positive. It seems like it's a little boy, maybe. Troublemaker that was punished and stuff like that. So is there a little boy here? My name is Bert. I'm just here to talk to whoever's here. Pan. Pan or Pam? Again, my name is Bert, so if you want to share me share with me your name, let me know. I'm just here to talk. When I leave here, you have to stay here, but I would really love to show other folks that you are still here and you want to let other people know you're here. Why are you here? If you want, you can use this object on the table to talk through me. Just use your energy and think of a word and let me know. And again, I am here completely alone. Uh, lights are out. Um, just doing one last final session, y'all. So double tap the screen if you're watching. Share, y'all. So let's get some people on this. It's only going to be live for a little bit. So I'm glad you guys are watching. This is going to be part of the episode if anything happens. So. Again? Wow, it's super quiet now. So is there anybody here with me? You seem very quiet. Can you move something? If I ask you very nicely, will you please move something? It's so quiet now, that's so weird. It's still on. Where'd you go? Uh, so this is actually a restaurant that I'm in. It's called Honeymoon Spirit Lounge. Uh, it's a bar slash restaurant in Austin, Texas. Um, historic home that they turned into a restaurant. So mm. 
Mellow Yellow. I just started. It's probably not going to be too long, but you came at a great time for sure. Make sure to share. I'll double tap the screen if you're watching. Let's get to a couple thousand. Hell yeah. Him. What about him? Are you talking about the little boy that's here? No, it seems like there's been this little boy that's kind of a troublemaker that was like punished a lot and put up as punishment in the room upstairs. But the room upstairs tonight has been pretty chill. Last time I was here, it was pretty active. There's also a window here that has had handprints on it, so. So it said him, that's what it said. And it's so quiet, it was just coming through so often. So who's here with me? My legs are starting to get staticky. Make sure to double tap the screen, y'all. This thing is still on, so if it if it goes off, let me know. Yeah, I haven't heard anything. Thank you for double tapping the screen, y'all. Monica, good to see you. Holy shit, I feel like it's been so long, y'all, so it's good to see y'all. And uh, Grim Jim, good to see you. I got the cat balls up, actually. Made sure to shout you out. Okay, so if there is a little boy here, what's your name? I got James earlier. Is that your name? It's so quiet now, that's so crazy. Again, this object on the table you can use to communicate with me. This little box here, if you get close to it and you think of a word really hard. Oh. Pinky. What about the pinky? Did you hurt your pinky? And a little boy would say pinky too. That's crazy. Keep on talking to me. Thank you for talking to me. Do you mind this, the staff here? Do you like that uh, this place has become a, a bar and a restaurant? They really like your presence here. They definitely don't mind you being here. It's so quiet now, y'all. It's crazy. How can you summon it? Ghost box, uh, Melanie, this is actually the spirit chat. Version four, uh, GEC Paratech. So I'm gonna fire up the spirit box though and see if we can capture something. Report. report. Yeah, I'll report back to you if, if anything happens. All right, I wanna show you all this place before I head out. I only have a little bit of time. 
I got this night vision camera on the stairs. And uh, shout out to Grim Jim for those cat balls. I had some activity with them earlier. So there's a framed picture that was on this wall that constantly just falls off. And here it is right here. So that's why I put these balls here uh, to see if there was any activity by where the frame picture is like right there where the light would be. Uh, it keeps falling off. So yeah, the stairs are pretty creepy. But let's fire this thing up. I only have a few minutes left here. So let's make them count, y'all. So this window, there's handprints being seen on this window before and they keep cleaning it and the handprints keep reappearing. Is that you? Whoa. It sounded like it said idea. Again, keep on talking to me. My name is Bert. When I leave here, you have to stay here. But you can use the energy attached to this building. You can use the electricity in the walls to get energy and talk to me. But you cannot use my energy. You cannot leave here when I leave here. You have to stay. But I really appreciate you talking to me. So whose handprint is on this window that keeps appearing on this window? Is it the little boy? Is it the little boy? Oh, it sounded like a little boy. And there's been like a high-pitched kind of child voice coming through. So this device that I'm holding is called the Spirit Box. It scans these radio stations at a rate that you set, but it has a white noise added to the to the radio, so you hear that static sound, and um, voices can come through that white noise. And the purpose of it sweeping is to kind of debunk the idea that it's just words from a radio station. Oh, what up, Earthly Imprint? Good to see you. I would love to get a reading, by the way, someday. I know this has been a while since I've done a live feed, y'all, so thank you for watching. Thank you for double tapping the screen. So who's here? Whose handprint keeps appearing on this window? What was so special about this window? Whoa. Hopefully you guys can hear the microphone. Can't tell. You can hear the uh, spirit box, let me know. So if I keep on going through this house, follow me, okay? This room has been so inactive tonight, but when I first came here, my EMF detector was flying off the charts every time I get close to that window. Oh, I'm, I'm hard to hear. Let's try that. Let's just take the microphone off. All these mirrors.
Is there somebody on the stairway that wants to talk to me? One. One? One of them? What's your name? Bill, why are you here? The picture that keeps flying off the wall. And look, there's like other things on this wall, y'all. And for some dark as fuck. Okay, what's up with the stairway? What happened here? Can you double t <laughs> double tap? <laughs> Can you move one of those balls? Just touch one of those balls and it'll light up. Please. You want me to show you? So if you touch one of these, yeah, if you touch one of the balls, it'll light up like that. Or any of the balls. It's pretty cool. Oh, Melanie, uh, we're not trying. We're not sure if there's a connection to the building with this photo, but there could be a connection to the photo itself being haunted. Spooky Fox, thank you, thank you. I dare you. If it's the little boy that I'm talking to, I dare you to touch one of those balls. It'll light up. Okay. It sounded like okay, but it was like an older man's voice. Can you do that for me? Can you touch one of those balls? I dare you to. I won't tell on you. And I have this, this night vision camera on, on the stairway recording as well, so in case I miss something. What up, y'all? Thank you for watching. Double tap the screen if you're watching. At Honeymoon Spirit Lounge, Texas. So do you, do you mind what has happened to this house? They've taken great care of this place. If you just touch one of those balls and let me know you're here, like you did earlier. Can you tell me why you're here? Yeah? Why are you here? What happened to you here? I will. Okay, take your time. It sounded like it was trying really hard to say that. It was like, I will. So yeah, tell me, tell me why you're here whenever you feel like telling me. Did that say Jose? It was like Jose. Is there a Jose here? Yes. Oh, okay, Jose, what happened to you here? Was this your house or did you work here? 
This place has been multiple businesses before being a honeymoon right now. Spooky Fox, you got kicked off. What? Weird. Do you use the mirrors in this place to come through the like bottom floor and the upstairs floor? No? No. Okay. Well, thank you for telling me. It's definitely an option if you want to use one. <laughs> Are you? Like, who am I? Who are you? My name is Bert. Did you have any family here? Jeffrey. Jeffrey. Oh my God. Oh, I'm alone, completely alone, locked in this place, with permission, of course. Now, they told me that a, a glass was on this counter and pretty much just exploded. It just shattered. Nothing, nobody moved it, nobody touched it. Was that you? When I came over here earlier, I got really affected. I got really dizzy. I can see you? Sound like I said, I can see you really quick. Well, if you can see me, can you show yourself? Can you move something? Preferably something not breakable. I feel like this the spare chat has been quiet since I went in the other room. Hi. Oh, it, yeah, it literally has said nothing since I left here. What? And it told me to report back before I left. Whoa! That sounded dark. Oh, it said something again. It said no. So it wasn't dark? Was that you just trying to communicate? Oh my god. I sounded like a little boy, y'all. My hair is starting to get staticky now. Who am I talking to? James? Powerful. Powerful. Whoa. Me. You found me. Yeah, I came back down here and you were still here just waiting for me to come back. Like literally nothing came through that spirit chat until I came back. It was talking to me while I was here and then nothing. And then when I came back. Oh. 
Oh no. Oh no. Oh no.